Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LEW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 51. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to list all database objects in a schema. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is we want to list all database objects under a schema. There are uh, existing uh, commands available like list tables uh, or list packages for schema schema name. You can use this command to get all the tables and package objects. But under a schema, there can be uh, multiple uh, database objects like alias, data type, packages, functions, modules, global variables, indexes, MQTs, procedures, sequence, tables, triggers, view, mask, and a um, lot of other objects are also available. This is not the entire list. So uh, system catalogs do not provide this information in a direct way. So uh, for every type of object, there is a system catalog table like syscat.packages, syscat.data uh, type, syscat.indexes, syscat.tables, syscat.sequences like that. So if you want to get this information from system catalogs, you will have to select from all the <coughs> from all the uh, uh, object tables and you can use union and uh, you know, uh, join the result set. But uh, that is a, like a tedious process. So other option is to use the db2look command, db2look hyphen d, db name hyphen e hyphen z schema name. So this will uh, create a DDL or this will create the create uh, statements for you for the objects which are under the schema name. But again, it is a, a manual method. Like you will have to uh, extract the exact object names and the object types from the uh, DDL or the output uh, file, right? So there is no simple or direct way. So how to, so what is the solution? So the solution is any object under a schema will have a owner. So somebody has to create that object right under that schema. So it can be indexed, it can be procedure, it can be function, whatever may be the database object under that schema. So we can use the sysibm adm dot object owners admin view to provide the uh, uh, schema names, object names, types and owner information. Even though it is actually for owner information, we are looking at the same table in a different way. So we'll query that with the predicate schema name equal to whatever the schema name we want. So under the schema name, whatever objects are there, it will display. So let's just quickly uh, get into uh, uh, example here. So here I have one uh, uh, SQL uh, uh, already uh, I have created these uh, objects. So there is a connecting to sample database. I am creating a table my schema dot tab. So my tab table name under the schema my schema your tab is another table name there is an index object there is a view object there is a procedure there is a sequence there is an alias there is an mqt there is a user defined function uh, and there is a trigger there is a mask like a, uh, the the mask is used in the recently uh, uh, new functionality uh, for the row and column based access control and i'm creating usage list so a lot of uh, these kind of objects I have created and I'm using this query uh, sysibm adm dot object owners sorry sysibm adm dot object owners so wherein I can say object schema equal to my schema so it will list all the object uh, schema names object names and object types so if you are uh, looking at the other solution so this is the other solution that I was talking about so you have to query each and every table syscat.table syscat.index syscat.data types like that and all the queries will be like union right this also will give the same information but uh, it will be like an extensive query right like it's a huge query you have to run whereas this is like a very simple approach okay so and after that I have all dropped the objects whatever I have created now let's just look at uh, the output of this file. I have run the uh, query and I have generated the output. Okay, So you can see that connecting to sample is successful. Then create the table, create the table. So all the commands are successful. Everything is successful. So this is the particular query that uh, I am uh, looking at. Uh, and it is also creating user defined custom data type. Okay. So this is the query that I was talking about, obsys IBM ADM object owners with object schema, my schema. So let's look at the output of this query. So you can see that pretty much it lists everything, see alias, data type, packages, functions, indexes, masks, uh, MQTs, methods, procedures, schema, uh, sequence, table, table constraint is also treated as an object, triggers, view. So whatever the uh, schema name, my schema, under the my schema, schema name, what is the object name and what is the object type. 
so it is giving you extensively in a uh, simple query right so if you look at the other query which had multiple union also right like syscat dot tables union syscat dot index like that still you can get the same information here okay so here actually in this query i have used a different schema name see i have used a schema name as db2 inst1 uh, so that's why the result is different here but you can the, the concept is the same okay you can achieve both functionality using the same queries okay so uh, that's it uh, uh, in this uh, thing another uh, thing is actually i can even use uh, db2 look so i have run the db2 look uh, uh, command which i have shown you so that will create like this see it will give you the exact uh, uh, ddl like the create table create index so it will produce an output like this so you will have to you know so if number of objects are huge then you will have to go through each and every create statement and try to find out whether it is creating an index or whether it is creating a table or whether it is creating a view so you have to go through that extensive list so it's again a manual way so db2 look is helpful but it's still not in a you know simple way right so the the solution that uh, I was talking about is the object owners. Hope this information was useful to you. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel DB2LUW Academy. See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye bye.